this is a cpu this is a monitor now we need to connect power cords for these two please note there are two different power cords now i'm connecting the cpu the other end i'm connecting to an outlet i'm connecting the monitor power cord again i'm connecting it to an outlet you will need two power outlets now this is a vga cable and i'm connecting the monitor to the cpu screw it in tight and the other end i'm connecting to the cpu if you don't have a vga cable you can use a dp port this is a dp port now we connect the keyboard can connect the keyboard to a usb port and the mouse to another usb port next we have a lan cable this is what we use to connect to the internet the other end can be connected to your router if you have a wifi connection we can skip this step you will not need a lan cable make sure all the connections are tight just double check all the connections and that's it we're ready to go just turn on the power and you can start working